how do we work on that? Problem is you have to teach them. You have to make them uh, ready for this IoT challenges and the need solutions. So talking about how to learn IoT. Um, when I started implementing IoT, that's another story. My manager said, hey, I want to make a dashboard for this uh, for this mechatronic station, I will not name it. I said, okay, let's use Ignition or any other software. He said, no, I want something open source. At that time, it was, I think, 2018. I didn't know any open source tool. I was searching, I was searching. There was no chance for to tell me what can I do. And then I accidentally ended up on node -Ren. It's like, oh, wow, this is a great software. And um, in node -Ren, you can use flows, you can use nodes. So you don't have to actually type a code. You do, but not so much. And then I came across Node-RAN and I realized how powerful, uh, this is such a powerful platform because you can interact with your machine, you can extract data. So that time I was uh, working on Siemens VLCs, which has OPC UV server inside. So I could easily connect to uh, Siemens VLC by Node-RAN. So Node-RAN is one of my favorite tools, which you can download for free or install for free and it's open source and not just talking to PLC. So I extract the data, and then I manipulate the data and I show it on the dashboard.